Karsten was convicted of killing a man in Brazil. This is his cell block with a full kitchen, big screen TV, laundry room. Norway's holding prison is the most humane prison in the world. Does Norway have the right idea or have they gone way too far? You got to see this. Check it out. In this vast forest of pine and blueberry is what some call the world's most humane prison, Halden Prison, where new inmates are greeted the way I was, with a handshake. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Drug smugglers, murderers, rapists, all doing time in a maximum security prison that feels more like a college campus. This is home? Yeah, this is home, yeah. Karsten was convicted of killing a man in Brazil. This is his cell block with a full kitchen, big screen TV, laundry room. You have a key to your own cell. Yeah, everybody has their own key. He and the rest of the prisoners are locked in overnight. The rest of the time, they choose when to lock the door to their cozy single bed cells with a TV and a private bathroom. I used to be in uh, prison in Brazil and there was a cell just a little bit bigger than this and there used to be 15 people in the same room. The point here nice to turn criminals into good neighbors. Always have coffee on the go, thank you. Rehabilitation, says the prison governor, starts on day one. We take the freedom from them, but uh, when they are here, we try to help them to get a better citizens. Inmates have a normal work week, giving them routine and responsibilities, training to be car mechanics and graphic designers in a state-of-the-art studio. From the city hall, we're getting jobs from, from them. Learning skills like restaurant prep, where they're trusted to handle knives, can help them get jobs on the outside. They have weekends off and a house available for overnight visits with their families. Welcome to uh, Criminal Records. Thank you. <laughs> Richard is studying music. He's doing time for murder and served his first four years in a Swedish prison. I was very hateful myself when I came here, you know, because I come from a very, very hard prison system. They really, really hate the guards and the guard hate, hated us. Do I feel like a, pr a different person now? Yeah, I do. Here, guards and tutors work side by side with inmates, <laughs> playing chess or simply going for a walk. It's all about building relationships and trust, even with the prison boss. He looks so happy. It's an inmate who painted it. There are cameras and locks, but no weapons, and nearly half of the guards are women. But do you feel safe? Yes, I do. Why? Well, I mean, we, we get to know all the prisoners pretty well. We interact, but we're, we're with them all the time. Norway's model isn't cheap. $93,000 per inmate per year, three times more than in the U.S. But only 20% of inmates re-offend after two years. In the U.S., it's 60%. There's no death penalty, and life sentences were banned in 1981. Even mass murderer Andres Brevet, who killed 77 people in a 2011 attack, was given a maximum sentence of 21 years, though that is extendable. Conservative critics say Norway has gone too far. What about the victims who actually has this um, uh, feel really in, in, in injustice that the people who commit this crime can actually live in this luxury. But if someone were to say to you, wow, this looks like a pretty luxurious lifestyle. Most of us uh, aren't going to see it outside for a long time, outside the wall. But these men admit they've been helped here. Before I uh, think more like a criminal, but uh, now I start to think more like a normal guy, you know? If you treat an inmate uh, like an animal, he'd be an animal. If you treat an uh, inmate with respect, he respects you back. He is a human being. Yeah, we treat them like human beings. Lessons many here believe could extend beyond these prison walls. For Sunday Today, Kelly Kobiella, Halden Prison, Norway. As a correction officer, I would have loved working in a prison like this. I would have loved playing music all day or fixing cars, you know, or playing chess. But is this justice? Is that justice for the victims? I would like to know what the victims feel about this. I would like to know how they feel. The families of the person that was murdered, how do they feel about the person who murdered their loved one living in what can be considered a resort hotel? Do they consider this justice? Is this punishment for the crimes they committed? 
Should the correctional system even be about punishment at all? Or should it just be about rehabilitation? When we say criminal justice system, do we mean justice for victims or do we mean justice for criminals? And the cost of it all, it costs the Norwegian taxpayer $93,000 per year per inmate. We don't even spend that kind of money on our high school and college students with 4.0s who've never done anything wrong. Is it fair to spend that kind of money on someone who's committed a crime? Now they say that they have about a 20% recidivism rate after two years in this prison. Only 20% of the inmates commit more crimes after they get released from this prison. Here in the United States, we have around a 70% recidivism rate. About 70% of the inmates that get released in the U.S. will commit more crimes and be back in jail within three years. If they had more prisons like this, do you think people would commit less crimes or do you think they would commit more crimes so they can go to prison? Now, I knew inmates who were homeless who committed crimes every winter just so they could get out of the cold. I think the conditions in the jails that I worked in were okay. They could have been a lot better. And I'm all for humane conditions, but I gotta be honest. I think this level of comfort is too much. I'm thinking maybe you can do something like this for juveniles, you know, make a facility like a college campus and give them vocational training. But for hardcore criminals, murderers no less, mm -mm, no, I can't see it. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm very interested in what you have to say about this. What do you think about this? Do you think that prisons like this one is a good idea? Or do you think Norway has gone way too far? Let me know. Share this video with your friends and your colleagues and see what they think about this. And until next time, as always, peace and stay safe.